Elections have been the key to Iran's progress and excellence after the victory of the Islamic Revolution. The Islamic Republic system was established with a 98.2 percent public turnout in the referendum, and this system has celebrated its 45th anniversary this year. The acting of the people in the political arena is the lasting legacy of the Islamic Revolution, because this revolution achieved victory by the will and blood of the people, and under the leadership of Imam Khomeini, and has shone brightly in various fields. This popular nature of the Islamic Revolution. Has caused the sapling of the Islamic Republic to move forward like a strong tree, under the leadership of Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution. This dynamism is due to the contribution of the people, who strengthened the roots of the Islamic Revolution by participating in various elections. According to the sixth principle of the Constitution, in the Islamic Republic of Iran, the country's affairs must be managed by relying on public votes and through elections. The president, the parliamentarians, then the members of the city and village Islamic councils, and members of assembly of experts. Are elected by relying on the people's votes. These broad aspects of direct contribution of the people facilitate and realize the important goals of Iran's Islamic system. Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution, stressed the importance of public turnout in the elections, saying. Achieving Islamic goals is not possible except through the presence, attention, and initiative of the people, and the people must willingly come. The issue of people is a principle. The twelfth round of parliamentary elections and the sixth round of the assembly of experts elections will be held on March the first. 2024, considering the nature and mission of these two important institutions in the Islamic Republic, the people of Iran know their right to have the maximum and decisive contribution in the upcoming elections. The supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution stated in this regard. Elections are a political field. And public turnout is absolutely necessary in this field. It means that it is both a duty and a right for the people, and participation in the elections is not just a duty; it is a right of the people. Elections are the place where the people's power is shown as a huge social capital and power-building component, and in such a situation, the type of participation and competition in elections becomes important. Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution, listed four mandatory characteristics for the upcoming elections and emphasized. Firstly, strong turnout. Secondly, real competition. Thirdly, fairness in the true sense of the word. And fourthly, election security must be practiced. These characteristics have always been of interest, but this period is of double importance due to the regional developments and the way the enemies look at the Islamic Republic, so that the upcoming elections will repeat the passion and atmosphere of yes to the Islamic Republic system. Dorina Jafabadi, a member of the Expediency Council of the Islamic Republic of Iran, said that we are on the threshold of a great holy day in Iran. 
People have always disappointed the enemies thanks to the conscious, decisive and enemy-crushing presence. And I hope that we can all be the source of works and blessings with a conscious and decisive presence in the elections. The more the people have a significant presence in the upcoming elections, the more the national authority and international power of Iran will increase because the people are the main power of the Islamic Republic. Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution, emphasized the importance and results of the zealous elections in a meeting with commanders of the Air Force and Air Defense of Iranian Army. The elite can play a role. Certainly, if the elections are held inside the country as fervently as possible, it will further demonstrate our nation's power, and national power directly leads to our national security. In other words, when the enemy front looks and sees the presence of the people, when it observes the power of the system and sees that this country is powerful, when it sees that the people are ready and prepared, their threats will be thwarted. 